All right, so our next scene is going to be this one right here. So this is basically an outdoor scene uh, with a cube, which has this um, material, um, this concrete material. And we also have these um, fences on the edges. So we're going to be importing them from Blender Kit uh, inside of Blender. However, I'm going to be showing you how to do this if you don't have Blender as well. Um, and then we're going to be adding some foliage around the edges. And then finally, mountains um, at the back. And then we're going to be working on some overcast lighting. And we're going to be adding these clouds as well. All right, so let's begin with Unreal Engine. So what I'm going to do is, uh, is that I'm going to go back to Unreal Engine and I'm going to go to File, New Level, and then we can just create a new level in our existing project. You can create a new one for this if you want, uh, but I'm just going to press Control S and I'm going to save this Lambo 02 underscore SS. That should be good. Save all. And let's begin modeling um, the scene. So for that, what I'm going to do is that firstly, I'm just going to create a landscape just so that we can see things a lot better. There's the landscape. And I'm just going to go to Window, Environment Light Mixer, and let's just create a basic lighting setup um, because we are going to be using this lighting setup. So just click all of them, and then you're going to have a basic lighting setup in your scene. Perfect. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be creating a cube. So I'm just going to create a cube, Shapes Cube, and I can just move it up slightly. And let me go to my skylight and turn on the real-time capture so that it looks a lot more realistic. And... I'm just going to scale that up in this axis, something like that. And I'm just going to be scaling it up uniformly. And then I'm going to be scaling, uh, I'm going to be duplicating this multiple times. So let me just undo it and let me turn on all the snappings. The reason why I'm doing this instead of just simply uh, just scaling up one and just calling it a road. The reason why I'm not doing that is because of texture um, stretching. So for example, if I just go to mega scans and if I just import any texture, um, Let's say we have, for example, this texture right here. You don't need to follow along this. I'm just uh, I'm just doing this to sort of show you guys how it works. Right now, you're going to see that the texture on the top looks fine. However, if I just scale it up, you're going to see that it's going to stretch. And when we add the road texture, we don't want it to stretch, right? So I'm just going to undo this. And yeah, so that's why we're basically having sort of one square um, block. And then we're just going to duplicate it. But before we continue to duplicate it, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go back to my previous level and I'm just going to be importing that same exact car. You can obviously use any different car if you want. I showed you how to import cars um, in the first part of the course. I'm just going to right click this Lambo folder, select all descendants, press Ctrl C with all that selected. Let's go to our second level and I'm just going to click anywhere and then I'm going to press Ctrl V. So it's going to give us this car in our scene, which is pretty pretty good. Otherwise, we're going to ha we'll have to texture the whole thing again and it would have been a hassle however i think it's pretty good now so let me just place it right like that and it is slightly above the ground so i'm just gonna um turn off the snapping for now and let me just move it down slightly so that is just resting on top of the floor let me turn snapping back on and now so basically now the reason why i did this before um creating the road was so that we can get an idea of how big we want to make the road. And now we have an, a good idea of the scale. So I think something like that should be a good road. Yeah, that should be good. Let me move it right there. And what I'm going to do with this is that I'm going to duplicate this now. So I'm just going to hold Alt on my keyboard and drag it. Make sure that you um, place it exactly at the point where the first one ends so that it doesn't um, overlap. And then I'm just going to place that one right there as well. All right, so now our road has been completed. And so what I'm going to do with this is that let me just first work on uh, the road material because I think that's a very important part. So for that, I'm going to go to add, add Quixel content, and then we can just import a concrete road material. So I'm just going to wait for the bridge app to open. All right, so once this is open, I'm just going to hover over the home tab and I'm going to go down to surfaces and then I'm going to go down to concrete. And so you can just choose any one of these. Uh, so I think the one which I chose was, um, so basically you can choose any one of these, but I think the one which I chose was, it might be here. I think it was this one, Cracked Concrete. Yeah, it was this one right here. Uh, so it's called Cracked Concrete. Um, let me show you, let me show you this in Megascans. I'm just going to go down. Yeah, it was this one right here, Cracked Asphalt. That's what it's called. And yeah, you can just add this. Medium quality, I would recommend you to do at least medium quality. Otherwise, high quality would obviously be better. So yeah, just apply it to all these three. And so right now, one problem which I'm noticing is the fact that the scale of this um, material is too low. 
Actually, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. The cracks are pretty visible, and I think that is a very good um, thing. Perfect. Now we can just get rid of the landscape, by the way. Just select it and delete it. And that's perfect. Right, so now I think our scene is coming along pretty well. Let's go back and let's see what's missing. So basically what's missing right now is are these fences and mountains and foliage, right? So what I'm going to do for the fences is that I'm going to be importing them from the internet. So you can just go to the internet, search for highway barrier. And then I'm just going to start a 3D model free. And so you can just download any one of these highway barriers. I think this one is going to be good. This one right here, um, but it's paid. You can find free ones as well on other websites. Or uh, what I'm going to be doing instead is that I'm going to be using um, Blender for this. So just open Blender if you have it. And then you can simply just, um, my bad. Yeah, you can simply use the Blender Kit add-on uh, to import any sort of model which you want. And in this case, that's going to be a barrier. So I'm just going to search into Blender Kit Barrier. And wait for it to open. Yeah, you're going to see that we have really good barriers. Uh, the credit for these go to nobody. <laughs> this dude is called nobody. Um, but yeah, he is the one who made them and we can just download them for free. So yeah, that's perfect. Just click it and it's going to appear in our scene. Um, so basically to, to sort of export anything from Blender into Unreal Engine, what you have to do is you simply have to click file, export, and then FPX. And now you can just save it whatever you want. So I'm just going go to go to my models folder and you can just call it whatever you want. So barrier or whatever. And then just click export FPX. Now I'm not going to do that because I already do have this exact model exported. So once you have it exported, you can just go back to Unreal Engine and then you can open a file browser and you can go to wherever you sort of exported that. I'm just going to go to this model folder. All right, so mine is called this road barrier. So I'm just going to be dragging this inside of the Unreal Engine content browser. However, I'm not going to drop it like that. So let me just drop it right there. And I'm just going to create a new folder for this. Um, right click this new folder and let's call it barrier underscore ss and I'm just going to be importing this in that folder I'll just drop it right there just click import all and cross out these errors now you're going to see that we have this barrier perfect so you can just drag this in your scene and you can place it exactly the way you want it to um, make sure that it is flush with the ground which it currently isn't I'm just going to be moving it down slightly. Let me turn off snapping so that I can move it precisely. That's perfect. And then I can just turn on snapping and then I can simply just continue to duplicate this. Like that. Select both of them and then just duplicate them again. Like that. And then I'm going to select three of them and duplicate them. Like that. 